Hello everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We are in the process of trying to get ourselves to the moon so we can rescue Princess Peach. Um, we found Gold Bob, who was not hidden in any way, shape, or form. We already knew where he was. To get permission to activate the cannon to go and launch ourselves to the moon, which of all the ways to get to the moon is a very strange one, but it is a Mario game. However, we're looking for, I can't remember if it's General White or Admiral White, I don't remember. I have no idea where he is. I honestly have no idea where he is, and I probably should have asked around in the Far Outpost before I left the Far Outpost to try and figure out where the heck he is, because I have no idea where he is. Maybe Professor Frankly knows where he is. Like, if I go talk to Professor Frankly, maybe he's got something to tell me. But I legitimately don't know. It's been so long since I've gotten this far in the game that I don't know where he is or how to convince him to help us because I'm sure even after we find him he's not gonna hop on board right away you're almost done and I'm still researching the mysteries of the door all right well you're no help at all oh boy um I don't want to have to go all the way back to the far outpost to ask them questions but I might have to because I don't gold Bob didn't say anything man I really should have asked I don't think I have any sort of like quest notes or anything. Like, I don't have a, oh, you know what I can do? Aha, you know what I can do. Give me a second. First we're gonna check the lottery, but I know exactly what I should do next. Let's see, winning number is 0781. Is that the one that I had yesterday? I have no idea how it knows. Oh, well, and get rid of the mushroom, I guess. I don't need it. Bye bye. Um. I don't know when my emulator changes the clock or anything like that. I don't know how the game knows when tomorrow is. However, over here, we have ourselves a magical little person who knows how to tell fortunes. And their fortune telling might indicate to us where we should be going next. Hopefully, it'll take us straight to General White and not, uh, not tell us we have to go back to the far outpost and ask around, but we'll see. Aha! Uh -huh. Welcome, Mario. Seeing with my amazing abilities, that which you seek is my humble job. So, shall I see something for you? Yes, please. Um, oh no, I don't want to... You know what, I got coins to spare. I already blew through a bunch of them. Oh, your next path? Ah, I understand. I shall look for what you seek. I mean, I hope so. That's what I'm paying you 42 freaking coins for. Hocus, hocus, focus. Cabra da abra. That was weird. Hola baloo. Hacka puka pika boo. Ah, ah. Stars, show me what I seek. Oh, hello. Interesting. I'm not sure what this tells us. Welcome back. I see your destined path. I see the town of wealth. You show a gold person near the train your good faith. Then you hunt your quarry in the relaxed town. Then the formerly deserted isle. Then in a shop in the city in the sky. Then in the tree of the little ones. Then, in the twilight village, I see you going a lot of places, frankly. You gather information about your quarry and go back to the mayor of the cold place. There, you find your quarry. And when the time comes, you stomp him over and over. Then, the way opens. Well, you gave me a crap ton of information for my 42 coins, so I guess I appreciate that. However, a lot of it is stuff I already knew. Aha. Uh -huh. Shall I see anything else for you? No. If I can't find that last shine sprite, I'll probably come back. But speaking of shine sprites, can we upgrade somebody? That's what we should do next. Okay. But while I'm walking there, things that I have learned. So she told us a bunch of stuff about Gold Bob. We already did Gold Bob. But then she told us that we're going to have to go a bunch of different places to find General White. I think it's General White. Um, because he's going to shift around. And the first place she said was the relaxed town. I'm assuming that's Petalburg. 
So, we'll have to go check out Petalburg, but first... I don't know how I was supposed to know that, but I do vaguely remember there being a bomb bomb in Petalburg, so that's probably where I should go look. Welcome to the home of Merlon, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Well, we have Flurry or Dynamite, and I've actually been getting some use out of Dynamite, so let's upgrade him. Shall I power up this partner? Yes, please. Shazibi. Shazubi. I make that joke every time. Has it gotten old yet? Then you may go. Excellent. All right. So we got dynamite leveled up, which may or may not come in handy. And I need to go to Petalburg, so I need to go all the way back down here. And I believe there's a save block down here. There sure is. All right, so we're gonna save. Beautiful. And then we need to get to Petalburg, and I believe the shortcut is down this pipe. I, the more places unlo I unlock, the less places I remember, if that makes sense. And sneak through the bars. Ha, ah, shortcut. And I believe Pedalberg is the one on the right. Let's see. Is my intuition correct? Oop, don't. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, Pedalberg. Excellent. All right, so I believe he was over here. But we're really going to have to see because I just do not remember. Is he up here? Hello? Mm, oh no, you're the guy who likes Princess Peach, like, a lot. Oh, is that so? Hooktail is toast, huh? I guess that's a good thing. Although, well, I've heard that Hooktail had lots of dragon friends. Yeah, I've heard they're all much, much meaner and more powerful than Hooktail. So, what do you think? You shaking now, or what? Ha! Psych! Served! All right, you're a weird dude. Have fun with your Princess Peach posters. At least they're not super lewd or anything like that. But seriously, does anybody know where... Huh? What's that? General White? Oh, he was here a while ago, but he said he was taking a trip. And then he left. Wait, hang on a sec. He did say something about a deserted isle in the south. He was either going there or not going there. Well, I guess we'll go check there. Okay, so... Can I skip all this? I don't think I can. I think I have to talk to these people. Otherwise, I would just go straight back to the far outpost and he would just be there, which doesn't make much sense. Um, all right, so that definitely means we need to go to Keel Hall Key next. And fortunately, I have a pipe that takes me right there. It's over this way, ha ha. And up this way, and it should be this one. Yeah, that's the music. All right. Let's go ask around the camp over here, see if General White's been around. Oh, General White, I have a request for you. What's that you got? A ticket for the XS Express. Whoa, you must be richer than you look. Much richer. All right, well, you have nothing for me. Frankie's the big boss of the whole syndicate now, eh? Well, what do you know? I guess you can't judge a Pianta by his fronds. All right, you got nothing for me. The coconut milk here is just the best. You should try it sometime. All right, you have nothing for me. Uh, you know what? You usually have good information. General White. Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off right quick. Said he was going to an arena or something. All right, we got our information. We need to go to Glitz Pit, but first we're gonna save. Just in case something crashes, because you never know with an emulator. You never know with my computer. Maybe everything is just going to power down. Maybe my power will go out. I don't know. You never know. you got to be prepared. That's why it's rule number one. Rule number one is save constantly. All right, so I do not have a shortcut to the glitz pit as much as I'd like to have one. So I got to go all the way back up to the blimp. I got to take care of this weirdo. Ha ha. All right, this should be quick. Ah, uh, lovely. And you're dead. 
And what about you? No sweat. But at least I get some halfway decent star points from you guys. Not as much as I'd like, but halfway decent. All right, I think, can I avoid this guy? Maybe, yep, I can avoid him. All right, that works for me. All right, and then up one more pipe, I believe, and then to the glitz pit. Excuse me, don't mind me. Well, I guess I'll save again, since I missed the pipe for some reason. There we go. Aha, missed me. Man, he's really got bad aim with those hammers. Which works in my favor. All right. Ooh, lamppost in the way. Don't mind me. You know what? Dynamite's a little bit faster. Let's go right in his back. Hello, me again. Need to go to the glitz pit, even though I went there a bunch of times yesterday and the day before. And I wish there was a shortcut, but there isn't. All right, so I'm guessing we need to go to the store. I believe that's what the fortune teller said. We need to go to the store and ask around, see if anybody's seen General White. I'm pressing the skip button as fast as I can. Here we are. Beautiful. And that's gonna move on. Dun 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 Oop, well. Trying to open the door, not jump at the door. Hey, hey, hey there. Welcome to my souvenir shop. We sell all kinds of stuff. So, what can I do for you? Well, I was just here looking for General White, but if you got nothing for me. All right. Doesn't seem like anybody here's got any information. Do I have the, do I have to go to the juice bar or something? Hey, you guys seen anything? If they ever make a movie of my life, it'll be called The Worrywart of Glitzville. That's a weird fighter name. Not that you're a fighter, but if you were a fighter, it's a weird fighter name. Hey, I'm a pretty good storyteller, don't you think? Yeah, I wanna be a writer. A sky writer, <laughs> Oh, clever. You get one of those. All right, how about the juice bar? Everybody hangs out at the juice bar. Somebody's gotta know something about General White over here. How about you? General White? Oh, you must mean that white bob arm, eh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree or whatnot. Or not, I don't know what you said. I just sort of assumed. All right, so that is definitely the great boggly tree. So now I gotta go all the way back. Oops, excuse me. To Rogueport so we can go to the boggly woods. Isn't running errands fun in video games? Especially in an RPG. All right, pressing the skip button. Skip. At least coming back is a little bit quicker than going there. I'm not really sure why. Beautiful. Uh, then I go down this way. Because I have yet another shortcut at my disposal. Excuse me, don't mind me. Just need to go down this pipe. Thank you very much. And then we'll slip through the bars unnoticed. Ha ha. To the tree, away. All right, over here somewhere. All right, so did he go in the tree? Who would I have to talk to in the tree? Who would he go see in the tree? Punio, Petunia, the elder. I guess I can talk to all of them until I find out. Oh, that little Punio. He's always, always so darn squishy washy. More nagging by the old hag. When will it ever stop? 
Oh, Junio is always getting in trouble with the elder. It's no fun for me. Hey, hey, Mario, can't you play with me instead? No, I'm busy. I'm looking for a dude. Oh. I'm sorry. That's, that upset her. I didn't realize that would upset her. All right, have you seen anybody? Welcome to the great tree. Huh? General White? Yeah, he's that old bomb on with the gray mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. Somewhere dark. Ah, Twilight Town. All right, wow, she is really annoying over there on the other side of the room. If I wasn't busy, I'd play her game. But I'm a little tied up at the moment. All right, well, I don't really have a shortcut to Twilight Town, but Twilight Town's not too far away. Frankly, the Glitz Pit, the glitz pit is the worst place to get to because it's, you, you have to take a, you have to take the blimp. There's no like, whoop, well, that was that what I wanted. You have to take the pipe. Or you have to take the blimp. There is no pipe. And the blimp takes forever. All the other places you can technically find a pipe to take. That eh, far outpost is a little bit of a pain in the butt as well, but. Um, let's see. I would rather swap you for either Bobbery, Vivian, or Coops. Let's give Coops some love. Yoink! Ah, two whole star points for that battle. The Spania didn't even give me anything. Alright, don't touch me, 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 don't touch me. Haha. <laughs> bye bye. Alright, and here we go. I need to get back up top, so we need to go here first. And then back down through the grate, which is super annoying. Seems like you'd eventually unlock a way of getting back up to where I need to be, but let's see, I need uh I need dynamite. He will be essential for getting to the pipe. And hover, 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 hover. Excellent. Oh, Twilight Town. All right. This is a decently big place as well. I don't know where he's going to be. I guess we'll have to go ask around. How about you? You know? Uh, you, uh, you, you're Mario, our hero. Yahoo for you, Mario. It'd be awesome if someone said that about you, huh? Yeah, that'd be sweet. All right, well, why didn't you? I mean, you technically said it, but we used to use the bell at Creepy Steeple as our clock. But we haven't been doing that since the whole pig thing started happening. I wouldn't mind getting back to that system after we settle all this, though. I mean, it's it settled. I took care of it. Hey, you. You must really like this place, huh? No? Not really? Well then, you must have come to see me then, right? Gosh, if that's the case, I don't know how to say this, but you're just not my type. All right, well, yeah, you're a little full of yourself there, but take a look around, I guess. Good day. I mean, uh, good dusk or whatever. I never know what time it is in this weird light. Then again, I don't even know what day it is because I never leave this room. You live a depressing life, my dude. All right, doesn't seem to be anything in here. Moving on. How about the mayor? The mayor got anything for me? Uh, hey, it's the savior of our town. It's Mario. Ever since that pig business, we're on constant guard. But don't think for a second that we forgot about you. Alright, well, I'm gonna forget about you because you don't have the information I need. I kind of doubt he'd visit the inn. Which is a weird thing to say. Ah, here we go. Huh? General White? Yeah, I know that old guy. He's a white bomb bomb, right? He was here until recently. What? Where'd he go? What am I? His secretary? He looked tired. I know that. Alright, he looked tired. So I'm gonna say that means he went home. That or he is in the inn, but I don't think so. 
So when he says he's tired, I'm guessing that means he went home. All right, so we'll give this a save. Like so. Oop, nope. Rule number two says we don't need to save more than once. All right. In that case, we can go back, and the pipe that takes us to the far outpost is actually right next door to the pipe that took us to Twilight Town. So that is super duper convenient. Hooray! I hope I'm right about this, because we have to, you know, well, we don't really need to dodge them, we can fight them, but there's a lot of stuff between here and uh, the actual outpost. Yep, there's one. Oop, there's two. I'd like to fight them, because they do actually give me halfway decent star points. And boing, and a boing. All right, well, we'll take care of you. But now my problem is that I don't know if any of my partners can take out that second guy in one shot. Oh, well, I'd take that if I had room. Um, Koops can't do it, Flurry can't do it, Vivian can't do it, Bobbery can't do it, Ms. Mouse can't do it. All right, so our best bet, it's not really a best bet, but it doesn't hurt us to have uh, Dynamite do a ground pound. It doesn't have any defense anyway. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, look, when I don't need it, I get a bingo. Lovely. Story of my life, folks. Story of my life. Oh, lovely. And now he's frozen. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Nice. Look at that. Some healthy star points. Oop, well, he snuck up on me. All right, um. Vivian can at least do fire damage, but I still don't think she'll do enough to kill it in one hit. Ah, let's try. Yeah, definitely not enough. She only does six damage. Not impressive. Boink. Well, that's not helpful either. Ha! Loser. All right, so let's go ahead and normal hammer. And we're good to go. No harm, no foul. Ah, I should have healed myself when I was at the Glitz Pit, because I could do it for free there. I'll take all these coins, though. Those are nice. There should be some piranha plants around here somewhere. Aha, there he is. And yoink. Beautiful. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to swap for someone like Bobbery or Coops, just because they actually have defensive abilities. Uh, and we'll just do a regular old shell toss here. And Mario will do another jump attack. I love being able to jump on spiky things, because a lot of spiky things don't have any defense. Oop, well, I had my finger off the button, so I didn't get to guard. All right, finish him off. Nice. Slowly but surely, getting those start points. Maybe there'll be some stuff on the moon that gives me good experience. I'd like that. I see you. I got you first. Only two of you? Easy schmeasy. And boink. Lovely. All right, we're 70% of the way to a new level. Woo, there's a lot of you over here. Hold on. It's gonna be a smorgasbord. All right, swap you out front and do a shell toss. And Mario can do a normal jump on this guy. All right, you ready to guard? 
All right, I was ready, but I still got the timing wrong. Beautiful. Oop, well that gives me extra coins. All right, any day now. Oh, Nintendo and your unskippable animations. All right, I didn't get the drop on this guy, but oh, look, there's a lot of them. All right, well, you know what we're gonna do? Since I have tons of star power or star points or whatever the heck it's called, showstopper, that's what we're gonna do. All right, gotta focus though. Sweet, all right, good to go. Oh, so many star points. You gotta love it, you love it, you love it, you love it, you love it. Oh, the coins, I love them. Don't, don't disappear, don't you die on me. I don't know if we got all of them, but we got a lot of them. To the outpost. Away! <gasps> An email? Is it the last edition of Rogueport Now or whatever the heck it's called? Oh look, it's the Rockhawk. Do I have to read it in his voice? Is this the so-called Great Gonzalez? Huh. Well, it's me, your worst nightmare. The new and improved Rockhawk. Don't think I forgot you, punk. I'm reborn, you coward. My training regimen would blow your mind. I'm on the fast track back to the top, and ain't nobody gonna get in my way. Rock! And still, on rainy days, I feel the bruises your hammer of shame left on this bod, and I feel the rage again. If you ever show your face in the ring again, I'll beat you so bad your mama won't even recognize you. Remember the rock. Number one, Rock Hawk. Oh look, he even sent us a picture. He's so vain. All right, well, we'll kick his sorry butt any day. Let's see, Admiral or General White, where you at, buddy? You over here with the mayor? Ooh, safe, we haven't done that in a while. Lovely. Well, I don't see him. Where would he be? What? You cannot find General White? Ah, there he is in the back there. The mustache gentleman. Where has he gone to? All right. Hmm. Now, where did he go? This makes trouble for us. We definitely need him. Otherwise, we can't even operate that thing. So, what to do? I know where he is. He's in bed. He seems to be asleep. Wake him up. <laughs> He's still asleep. Try again. Don't mind if I do. He's still sound asleep. Try again. He's definitely still asleep. Try again. All day, every day, baby. He's still sawing logs. Try again. That's a weird expression. I'm aware of the expression, but it's a weird expression. He couldn't be more asleep. Try again. Yes. All right, now it's getting tedious. He's counting sheep. Try again. He woke. Nah, he's still asleep. Try again. Oh, you troll. Sleeping like a stashed baby. Try again. He's not even budging. Try again. Am I doing something wrong? He's still snoring away. Try again. Gah. Norf. Snorf. Norf. Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep, as it is all hopeless. Uh -huh. That mustache, that hat, and that hammer, even. Hut, hut. I have been looking for you. I have been looking everywhere for you. Why? Well, to bring that cannon back online. I had lost my life's work. Ver my very reason to live. 
I found myself at wit's end, and then the Rogueport fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the red M hat, and the one with the hammer and the stash. What if I was still wearing my Waluigi clothes? He will fulfill your dreams, or something like that. Hey, I also went to the Rogueport fortune teller. Hut! You need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip, hip, hooray! That fortune teller was right. So, what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready, so go tell the mayor. Now, get moving. Hut, hut! Wow, he's very energetic. That also doesn't take much convincing. Let me go save, because I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't remember enough of this game from this point on, basically. So, cannon is back online. Well, I could just explode with the light. Now, let us shoot you guys to the moon. Cool. We did it, Mario. Now, you follow me. Where? Like over there? You come this way. Like way over there? Alright. I don't know why I didn't just walk with him. Save again. Aha! I'm feeling extra special savey today. Now where'd he go? Oh, hello. Now you stand here. I mean, you're the boss man. Oh, hello. General White, is Big Bomb um, Cannon ready? Hut, leave it to me. Now, men, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon. Ho, oh, hup, hut, boom. Now, positions everyone. Yes, sir. Interesting. Oh, look, it's like a control room. That's clever. Bring guidance systems online. Bringing system online. System now online. System check. System check. All clear. Prepare for detonation sequence. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Open router, open outer hatch. You mean that's not the outer hatch? Oh, that's the outer hatch. That's a big cannon. Open inner shutter. Wow, there's a hatch and a shutter. Wow, several shutters. Why is this the way that it is? Elevate, on my mark. Wow. That one bomb mama is standing very close to the edge. I wouldn't want to stand there. That is a very big cannon. Good lord. I mean, we are going to the moon. It is like really far away. Sighting. Target is the moon. I don't see it. Ah, because we're looking straight up in the air like dopes. Direction, 75.38. Elevation, 54.66. Range, 389.603. The moon. God, I hope there's cheese there. Wind speed, 1.08. Correct direction, 3.03. .03. Correct elevation, negative 2.39. Target locked. Chamber hatch open. Now, everyone in. Oh, wow. Those guys came out of... I was going to say the woodwork, but the woodwork would still suggest that they came from somewhere. Those guys came from nowhere. Close chamber hatch. It's crowded in here, Boom. Stop pushing, Bazoom. Ow, ow, ow. You're on my foot, Baboom. I'm glad you're all going to kill yourselves to get me to the moon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bob bombs can do this all the time. Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big bomb cannon. Fire. Wow.
Yahoo! Wait, they all launched out of the cannon with me, kind of? How's that work? Good luck, Mario. Thanks, I'm gonna need it. The moon is a very scary place. That's probably Koops yelling, but I did a Mario voice. Koops is the right partner to have out. He just pull into his shell and he's like super ultra guarded in there. Oh, I see other planets. Why can't we go to the other planets? Man, that was something. Who would have thought I'd ever get to do that? Well, we're really on the moon, all right. So, are you ready, Mario? Let's find the last crystal star and save the princess. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I walk very slowly, but I jump very high. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I already can see in the distance here, there's a crack in this rock. So we're gonna get that first. Whee! I don't like this music though, it's a little spooky. Well, I... Oop, no, I want the in coupon. Wait, bring it back. I don't want the stopwatch. Stopwatch, oop. Stopwatch is a waste of my time. Oh, look at the constellations in the background. That's lovely. All right, so here's the next thing. Ms. Mouse has to tell us if there's anything hidden around here. Oh, ho, ho, baby, there is. The next question is, where is it? Oh, wait, no, it's gonna be the timer. Hold on, we have to wait for that to disappear. We'll look around in the meantime. All right, it's disappearing, it's disappearing. Nothing, all right, that's fine. We see a save block, we definitely wanna get that, but first, Nothing. All right, save please. Seriously, that sound, I don't like it. First of all, the moon should have no sound because there's no oxygen. Second of all, there's no oxygen, I should be dead. Third of all, why would that sound be on the moon? <laughs> all right, anything hidden around here? Ooh, something. Oop, hello, you're new. Um, can I smack you? Well, actually, a jump on the head might. Eh, if you have high defense, that's actually not gonna help me very much. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, yeah. No, it didn't help, like, at all. All right, here's what we need to do. We need to swap for Goombella and give them a good old tattling. That's a moon cleft. It's your basic cleft living on the moon. Max HP is 6, attack is 5, and defense is 5. Defense is high, as usual, and fire attacks don't work against it. If you could turn it over with an explosion, though, its defense goes down to zero. Aha! You have taught me the secret. Aha! The super guard works pretty well as well. Nice. Alright. So, all right, no, first of all, no. There's a lot of X-Nots up here, which makes sense. Um, Aubrey, that's what we want. And, dead. I should've done this differently. I should've done something to flip, flip the second guy over so he can't attack. Whatever. Ouch. These guys only give me two star points. I was hoping for a little bit more. That's fine, we'll make do. It's better than just one for the whole fight. Ooh, hello. I don't want that. Are you also, oop, hello. Wow, you're fast. You are fast. All right, can I get Bobbery to do a first strike? I think I can if I line this up correctly. Come on, Bobbery. Oop, hello. Well, he got me. All right. We'll make it work. All right, so. What is the best way to do this? Should I have Bobbery flip it over first? I don't know, I guess. Since there's two of them, it gets kind of tricky. Okay, so he flips it over. And then Mario can do this. Or he could jump on it. Ha 
Ha, huh, you're wet. Ouch. Meanie. I don't need it. All right, so we found that shroom. It might be the only, well, there's another cracked rock. Wow, there's a lot of these guys up here. Oop, nope, don't want it. Don't want, all right, get him. There we go, that's what I want to do. Boom. All right, so actually no, let's put Mario up front. This is probably a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Because Mario can kill this guy. Like that. Bobbery can flip over the second guy. Like that. And then only one guy can attack us. Nice. That worked out pretty well, actually. And this should give us enough star points to level up, which is always a plus. I'll let you get one guess as to what I'm actually going to spend my level up on. Is it gonna be health? Is it gonna be flower points? Or is it going to be badge points? I'll give you a hint. It's badge points. <laughs> it's going to kill me one of these days. It's going to it's going to blow up in my face that I'm only getting badge points. But there's nothing that can be done about it. Here we go. Even more. Nice. Bye-bye. Alright, so that should, I believe, give us enough badge points for, well first let's sort this by type, but we can get a, I want to say it's a defend plus partner, there we go, nice, that gives us one point left over, which I don't necessarily feel the need to spend on anything, it's already spent points on chill out, which is a good call I think. If something else comes up, I'll want to use ice power. But I I want to say the the cave on Keel Hall Key is like the only place you really need ice power because that's the only place where there's like fire enemies. I could be wrong about that. Maybe once you get through the thousand year door or something, there's fire enemies. Maybe there's fire enemies in the X-Knot lab. I simply do not know. But things to spend one badge point on. I guess I could get like a special, like soft stomp, sleepy stomp, shrink stomp, multi bounce could be nice. We'll get the multi bounce and we'll unequip it if we need that extra badge point because I'm I'm not too fussed about it. Wow, there's a lot of these guys here. I mean, it's good, it's good uh, start point farming, I guess, especially for being on the moon. God, I walk so slow. No. If I could walk faster, I could avoid these guys. Oh, there's so many of them. All right, you know what we're gonna do? You guessed it. Showstopper. X, X, B, B. X, Y, A, A, Y. Y, B, X, B, A, B. I almost screwed that up. B, X, B, Y, A, Y, X. All right. Since I think you get plenty of time to do those, it's sort of like accuracy is way better than sp speed when it comes to the showstopper. Look at all the points. Thank you very much. I will take these. I am getting tons of coins from the moon as well. That's awesome. All right, let's see if I can get this last guy. Can he come in the pit? Okay, he can't come in the pit, so that's my method. And boom. Let's see. We can normal jump on him. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Hammer's probably better. And then we'll flip this guy over. I could have just used Showstopper again, quite frankly. Oh well. 
We'll go for it. We'll practice our super guard. There we go. Ouch. Meanie. All right, let's switch to hammer. Hammer's probably, in general, better to do here. And flip you over. Nice. Gotta love the super guard when it works. Oop, wait, what is it? I'll take it. It's not gonna work. My inventory is full, baby. Maybe I should use some of my inventory, come to think of it. I think I have a mushroom in there that I should probably use. Oop. Nice, my defense is too high to be damaged by that. And flip over. Dang it, I missed. And I blew the fog away. Which I don't think is an ability they explicitly say that Bobbery has, but I believe every time Bobbery blows up, he blows the fog away. All right, let's flip you over just to make certain that this is gonna work. God, where's this fog coming from? All right, don't miss. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Ah, you missed. But the crowd still loves me. All right, clear away the fog. Or kill him, that works too. Nice, full up star points. Ooh, I'll take that. More coins for me. Oh, look at all the coins. So many coins. Beautiful, all right. Blow this rock wide open, see if there's anything good in here. The answer is there is not. Let us check with Ms. Mouse to see that we're clear. Which we are not. Interesting. All right, well, we have to keep an eye on her nose then, I guess. You let me know if you smell anything. Promise? So I have to actually stop why- Oh, she smells the mushroom. Uh, I have to actually pick it up, don't I? All right, so I have to pick it up and then I have to throw it. And then we wait for it to disappear. That's probably what she's smelling. I don't know if there's any flippy panels on the surface of the moon. That'd be kind of weird. Of course, it's weird that they exist in the first place, so I guess that shouldn't matter to me. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby 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 doo. Don't mind me, just waiting for it to disappear. All right, disappeared. Yep, nothing. All right, let's move on. Can't just take that big step. Have to actually jump over that for some reason. Dooby dooby doo, be dooby dooby doo. Like my song, I came up with it just now. Can you tell? All right, let's blow this rock wide open. Nothing. I see you hiding back there. You can't hide from me. Oop! Wait. Let me hide from you. Aha! Sucker. All right, how many friends you got? Ah, oh, just two of you. So easy. I can get out of here unscathed. Assuming I don't screw up entirely. And boom. Ha ha, you're stuck on your back, which means you can't attack me. That is not a thing that I knew you could do the... That is not a thing that I knew that you could do to the clefts, if I could speak properly today. Maybe I just need to slow down a little. I'm talking too fast. My mouth can't keep up with my brain. Ah, dang it. Well, he got me. Apparently I was too close to the edge. I really don't want to deal with you guys. I'm just gonna show stop you. All right, B, B, X. Y, Y, X, Y. B, X, A, X, B. Y, A, 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 X, X. Y, X, X, B, B, X, X. Oh, that was it, all right. Easy. All right. 
Who else is hiding out here on the surface? Besides the clefts. Maybe it's just the clefts. Oop, hello. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, you have a friend over there too. That's not even anywhere near close enough. I need to reposition myself here. All right, there we go. We throw this way and boom. There we go, two of you. That's the perfect number. Two allows me to maximize star points while minimizing damage. Assuming, assuming Bobber, you can get the jump on them. Otherwise, it's a little more tricky. Die, 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 die. All right, so I know you have a friend over here. I saw him, you can't hide him from me. Let's see if I can get Bobbery close enough. Ah, uh, maybe not. No, oh, this is not gonna work. Jump. All right, well that's not gonna work either. Ah oh, man, there's two of you as well. All right, well we'll do it the hard way, I guess. Bomb you. And normal hammer, which then we only have to deal with one. Which isn't as good as dealing with zero, but. I do like to optimize my fights as much as possible. Does that mean I take all the fun out of RPG games? Eh, sometimes. <laughs> but sometimes RPG games be difficult. And you have to overanalyze everything. Paper Mario is not necessarily one of those games. But sometimes it be happening. All right. Have I found everything in this area? Nope, there's still a guy over here. Not anymore. He gonna die. All right, there's, you have a lot of friends. That's still a little difficult. Ha! Huh. I mean, it's not much of a ha. Huh. My defense was so high that the falling set didn't hurt me, but... Their defense is also so so high that the falling set didn't hurt them. Nice. Getting a little bit better at the super guards, not great. Ooh, this would be useful. Nope, never mind. And flip over. And the fog comes rolling in. Because why not? All right, Bobbery, blow away the fog. Possibly kill this guy. All right, kill him. That works. All right, now is that everybody? All right, that's looking like everybody. So, is there anything hidden around here? Nope. Lovely. Continuing on. Making my way across the moon. It's so very big. Do 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 do. I have to change the song slightly. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, hello. I have not met you before. Can I hide behind this rock? Ah! So many shots. All right. Well, I didn't get the jump on this guy, but. All right, I definitely need to tattle. Uh, da, 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 swap partner for Goombella. All right, what the hell are you? You look a little bit like one of the Yicks? X? What are they? Oh, Z. Okay, they're called the Yucks. Okay, so it's a Z Yucks. That's a Z Yucks. It's a genetic improvement on the original Yucks. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Multiple mini Z Yucks will appear to protect the main unit, as you'd expect. Sometimes they also restore HP to the main unit, which really burns me up. It doesn't have much HP, but those barriers often protect it from attacks. Yeah, it sounds like a pain in the butt, you know what we're gonna do? Showstopper! 
All right, A A X, X A X B, Y A Y B Y, X B Y X Y B, and X B Y X B Y X. There we go. Beautiful. Bye bye. I can use that basically three times in a row if I have to. Oh, I don't like this. So on the upside, since I have chill out, I won't succumb to a first strike. So even if they hit me, um, I can, it'll just initiate the fight, I believe. All right, how do I want to do this? There's like no good way to do it. I need to jump on them. I need to get, literally, I need to get the jump on them. Can I make it? Yeah. Ha ha, there we go. Super high jump for the win. I have a friend. Oh, he's gonna die too. Don't worry about it. All right, that takes care of one of these guys. And I'm so good at stylish moves that my star points actually regenerate pretty fast. I'm not great at him, but I'm okay. I don't remember where to get the badge that, like, whoops. Ooh, that was close. There's, you can get a badge from, ah, dang it. From somewhere that tells you when the stylish moves are, but I don't know where that is. For all I know, I already have it. All right. So fortunately, Goombella does enough damage that she should be able to kill this guy right away. Nice. All right, one more. You are a nuisance. Well, I missed. All right, little trickier, little trickier. This is still fine. Yeah, this is this will work nicely. So we're gonna normal jump on you. Get rid of you. But then we're gonna swap you out for Bubbery. So we can flip this guy on his back. That is premium strategy right there. You can take that to the bank. Double my star points. Yes, please. I wish I could make it so that's the only thing that happens. I don't really care about extra attack. I don't care about extra defense. I don't care about extra coins. Just double my badge points every single time, or my star points every single time. I would appreciate that very much. All right, I'm not gonna get those coins. They were too far away to begin with. Oh, it's not gonna work. I threw the. I threw him the wrong way as well. I don't know how that happened. All right, same strategy. Second first, same as the first. Kill that one. And then we'll flip over this guy. You love to see it, you love to see it. Ouch. Lame. Ta-da. All right, anybody else out here on the surface that I should know about anyway? All right, so we need to blow up you. Nothing. All right, how about you? Let me guess, you got a pipe? I bet you have a pipe. I see the pipe in the background there on the moonscape. Aha, a pipe. All right, but before I go in there, I feel like I should keep, oop, I see the star piece. I feel like I should keep exploring the moon. Ooh, something's still around here. I wonder what it could be. I gotta walk around super slowly and see if she sticks her nose up in the air. Not in there. Oh, there we go, it's probably in there. There was three cracked rocks. Yep, there she is. All right, throw that away, I don't want it. All right, so when we come back, we'll check this area again, but I'm pretty sure that's the only item that she was smelling. It's very possible that they didn't, oh man, I don't wanna deal with you. Jump, ah, dang it. Ooh, there's a lot of you. Guess what you get. 
you get a showstopper. It's just way easier to do it this way. Uh, y, X, X. A, Y, B, X. X, B, Y, Y, B. Y, X, X, A, X, A. Y, A, X, Y, X, X, A. It's like my brain turns half off to do that. Like, I don't... Wait, the one survived. How'd that happen? There was too many of... I did it perfectly. I don't know how he survived. Anyway. I can still do it with one. One is fine. Uh, no. Get out of here. Alright. Uh, this will still work. And then we can regain some of our star points without leaving the fight. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're such a gracious audience. Alright, so I want to make sure I thoroughly explore the moon before I head over to the X-Knot base. And for all I know, I don't even have everything I need to get into the X-Knot base. Ha! Huh, you're stuck in there. They should all be stuck in craters. Make my job way easier. And you are dead. And this guy is soon to be flipped over onto his back. I forgot that I had a thing that regenerates my partner's HP. And since they generally don't get hurt very often, it comes in handy. Like the few times they do get hurt, they just regain it back eventually. And I just regained health from that. Alright, so there's two more guys back there that I can see. Uh, I don't think there's any rocks over here. Yeah, we're good. Alright, so first we'll blow up this bad boy. See if there's anything nice in here. Oop! He was hidden! It's a sneak attack! It's an ambush! Run! Alright, get him, Bobbery. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Dang it. Ready? Ah, I threw you the wrong way again. Stop it. Get back here. Alright. And that way. Nice. There we go. Two by two. That's how I can take care of them. Ta-da! Y'all know the drill by now. I'll just flip them over. And keep on keeping on. Killed him before he even woke up. Oop! He's got a friend. He's got a friend. Alright, we can get ya. Get him. Nice. Ah, three of you? Well, that's just plain old cheating. Alright. Damage you. Then we can flip the second guy over, which prevents him from using his item. And hopefully we can super guard against this last guy. Nice. Everything's coming up Mario. Got this worked out to a science by now. Even when the fog comes rolling in. Boom, just swap partners. Well, swap positions. Same partner. Blow the fog away. Why is there. <clears throat> Alright, well, never mind. It doesn't work if the fog just regenerates right away. Alright. I got lucky. I don't know if that's a coin toss or a dice roll. I don't know what the odds are of missing in the fog, but I lucked out. Alright, I don't really want the stone thing. Nothing in there. There's gotta be, there he is. I was gonna say, there's gotta be one more guy around here somewhere. Ah, dang it, I didn't get far enough into the crater. Three of you. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you. Showstopper. 
This is just out of pure laziness at this point. Wish real life was like this. Just press a series of buttons and things get done. I mean, as a software engineer, that is kind of what I do. The buttons are keys on a keyboard, but you type a bunch of them and eventually things work. All right, we're getting close to leveling up. That works for me. I will not shake a stick at that. No siree bob. No siree bob bomb. Ha ha, wordplay. All right, I don't want it. Throw it away. Get out of here. Yeah, there's the one thing. I don't... We'll see. I'm guessing there's no... Ah, there was one star piece, though. I was gonna say, I'm guessing there's no items of consequence. Oh, there's a lot of these guys. Holy cow. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Go into the crater. Um... I'm guessing... That, uh... <sighs> Again. I don't know... So here's, here's what I'm trying to say. I don't know if you can come back to the moon after you're done at the moon, which means it doesn't seem like they should put any items of consequence on the moon. Just like, you know, things like mushrooms and whatnot are fine, but shine sprites and star pieces, not so much. That said, I found a star piece on the moon, so, and I would consider that an item of consequence because there's a theoretical maximum number of sh star pieces in the game. Now, it's possible there's more star pieces in the game than you'd ever need, but I don't know if that's true. Alright, that was weird. Don't know what that was, but it was gross. Some sort of weird moon worm. I'm gonna catch weird moon diseases. And just like that, we've refilled our star meter and we're ready for another showstopper. Whenever that is. Next time I see four, maybe three, hey, level up. Maybe three enemies. Lovely. I have things that I can spend those badge points on. Oh, look, you're gonna give me even more coins that I don't need. I'll take those, just to get them off the moon. Oop, don't like that. Don't like it. Jump! Aha, sucker. Ah, you missed. You lame-o. There we go. Three of you, piece of cake. As long as the fog doesn't roll in, then it gets harder. Oh, now I only get one star point. That's no fun. Curses. I leveled up. And now things are too hard again. Alright. Don't need it, but I got it anyway. trying to think of what I want to do with my level ups from here on in cuz so I just got more badge points which I do need for sure I don't necessarily remember why I need them but I need them all right so I have three badge points four if I get rid of multi bounce which HP plus partner. That's what I want. But do I want them right now? Oh, power plus partner. Never mind. That's what I want. I was going to say, these would be handy, but this is a must have. So that's what I'm going for. There. Boom. I need one more level, another set of badge points, and then I can think about upgrading something like my flower points. 
because special moves are going to be super helpful for like boss fights. And I only have 10 and like some of the best special moves use like four badge point or four flower points. So I'd run out real quick. So there's our strategy. Next upgrade, badge points as usual. Upgrade after that, probably flower points. We need to diversify a little bit. I'm surprised I haven't had more trouble considering I only have 20 HP. I'm just really good at defending, I guess. Of course I did, you know, the flip side of that is I invested a lot of badge points into defend pluses, which is being super helpful because I don't, I don't take minor damage and I severely reduce heavy damage. So, cause I have like two defend pluses and then I can guard on top of that. So I'm doing okay. All right, I thought there was at least one more guy around here. Oh, well, there's that guy. All right, are you done yet? Boom. There's a lot of these guys. At this point, I'm not even sure I really want to fight them because they don't give me a ton of bat or a ton of star points. I got too many points. I can't remember if it's badge, star, flower. Anyway, I would avoid them because they don't give me a lot of star points, but they're so much faster than me on the surface of the moon that I kind of have to. Oh, thank the Lord. I'm good at super guard. Or else they would be starting to whittle Mario down by now. And flip him over. Beautiful. Get him out of here. I don't want to see him anymore. Slow going on the star points. But slow going is better than not going at all, I suppose. You always gotta find the silver lining. It's one of my life lessons. Yeah, find ways to stay positive. You don't have to be positive all the time, that's asking too much, and frankly that could lead to some sort of mental problem, but... You know. Don't sweat the small stuff. I think that's the real overarching lesson. Don't worry about the small stuff. Small stuff takes care of itself. Save your energy for the big stuff. And when if there if there's not big stuff happening, just enjoy life. Just enjoy life. That ah, freaking cleft. All right. Oh, how to do this? Best way to do this. Best way to do this. What do you got for me? <sighs> Bombast would hit all the enemies. It would use all my flower points. Screw it. We're doing it. I'm repeatedly tapping. Faster, 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 faster. Nice. Uh, all right, so problem is there's fog, but we'll see if that matters. All right, do a regular bomb attack to blow the fog away. And kill him. All right, Mario, don't screw this up. We wasted all of our flower points to take care of two enemies. Nice. Throw it away, I don't want it. Waste of space. All right, I think that's everything here. I'll check for items on my way back because I don't think these guys respawn. We haven't saved in a while. We gotta make our way. I think the next area should be our save block. We'll see. But we need to get to that save block and we need to actually save. Where is she? There she is. I was getting worried for a second. Okay, and then we'll head back that way and check for items. Beautiful. Good strat. Good strat. Why do we walk so slow on the moon? It doesn't make a ton of sense. I understand walking weird on the moon because gravity's a little different. All right, she smells something. 
But what could it be? So that item shouldn't still be there, right? Or does it? No, they're still there. Never mind. Oh, wait. Do they re... They might reappear when I leave. That's a good question, actually. Throw it away. And wait for it to disappear. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, nothing here. Glad we waited that long just to figure that out. And now we know. And up, oh, wait. Did we never kill that guy or did he respawn? I don't like it. Run away. Run away. Run away. I think they respawned. All right, that's not what I wanted to hear. All right. I'm just assuming there's nothing here and I'm gonna run as fast as I can. Ah! Dang it. All right, get out, frickin'. Where is Bobbery? And the fog comes rolling in. I hate it. All right, he's dead. Ha, huh, miss me. At least the fog works. Ah, oh, I screwed that up big time. All right, that's still fine. It'll work. I let go just a little bit too early. But it's fine. It flipped him over. Which means Mario can finish him off either way. Yay, I got two whole star points. I want those coins. I've already gotten like 300 coins since I got to the moon. It's ridiculous. All right, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Ah, oh, man, are those freaking like Z yucks gonna be back? I hate it. I hate everything about this. They're not supposed to respawn. All right, just gotta keep moving. Just gotta keep moving. Come on, beautiful. All right. Not the way I wanted to do things, but it's the way I did them. Knock, knock. Oh look, the front door is just wide open. Rather suspicious building, wouldn't you say, old boy? Do be careful, eh? I'll try. What happens if I try and go up the down ramp? It takes a lot longer, that's for sure. I don't know what else I expected. 20 coins to heal. Who's that, dude? Whoa. That's Mario. So let's get him. No. I need a sneak attack. Damn you. All right, I'm guessing I haven't tattled on these guys before. All right. So we need to swap you for Goombella so she can tattle. I'm guessing they're not too different than the regular uh, sort of white colored x knots. That's an elite x knot This guy is the cream, is the creme de la creme of the x knots Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 1. He'll use regular attacks as well as boosting his power or size. Elite x knots are tough, but you just have to smack away until they go down. I can do that. Um, it's not gonna do much. Well, it's gonna do a ton actually, but it's not gonna kill it because their defense is so high, but I'll do that. Well, wow, that's lame. Now what are you doing? Oh look, the same thing. All right, let's swap you to Bobbery. Bobbery, you blow up this first guy. Thank you. And Mario, if you'd be so kind as to, well, I guess we're gonna kill him because we're getting super awesome extra attack this round. Beautiful. 
Hey, they give me a halfway decent amount of star points. Yeah! All right, is there like a save block? More, you old boy, since these ex not ruffians are about. Yes, I'm quite sure of it. The crystal star must be here as well. Ah, oh, dear Peach must be here too, wouldn't you say? Let's find her, old boy. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, I like this music. This is like classic GameCube type music. I love it. All right, what time is it? 8.30? Hmm. I don't really want to get into this with only a half hour left. I think I'm going to end it early. Honestly. All right, so. I think I need to end it here for now. I know it's a little shorter, uh, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, I got some stuff I need to get done today. Anyway, so. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you head on over to youtube.com slash C slash Fang. Over there you can see the Twitch archives and VODs. So if you ever miss out on a live stream, you can just watch it over there. Those get uploaded within 24 hours and you can see them all. And if you're already on YouTube and you're watching this as an archive, well, scroll on down to the description and you should see a link that says twitch.tv slash real Fang. That'll bring you on over here to Twitch. You can follow me over here. Uh, and watch the stuff live, interact with me in the chat, and all that good stuff. So, uh, do both of those things, and I would be super appreciative, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye!